they should Won't nobody check up on you, make sure you're good Won't nobody check those body cameras by your neck All It has been raining non-stop for the past few days here so it is wonderful to see some sun although there are supposed to be thunderstorms later i am walking to my mailbox right now i've got two packages i actually had more to ship out but eblis is shipping out the other things because the other items are with them so that's always great and because i have two smaller packages i'm just going to go ahead and put them in the mailbox um and just you know put the flag up and then my mail carrier when they come they will take those items out take it with them when they go um you know on their route scan them in and my mail carrier is really good about that um but today i have a busy day ahead of me i just spent the morning organizing a ton of stuff i have a ton of stuff just everywhere i have um a men's 100 pound thread up rescue box in my living room, basically the contents of those two boxes are just spilled all over the place in different piles. One of those piles was stuff that I wanted to take to, what is it called? Um, Plato's Closet. So I got that stuff organized and I've got two bins of stuff that I'm gonna take to Plato's Closet. I have a pile of stuff that is for a garage sale that we're gonna be having in a few weeks. Let me know in the comments below if you'd be interested in seeing a video on my garage sale. The last time I tried to have a garage sale, it was like two, summers ago and it basically got rained out. It was so sad, but um, I do want to do a garage sale again because I have a lot of stuff that I just need to get rid of. Um, but yeah, so we're going to go run some errands together. We are going to go to Play-Doh's and a kid's consignment store because I have a box or two full of stuff to take there. Oh, it's windy. Um, and we're going to see what they take. I started off at Play-Doh's and I really went with the full intention of just bringing them those two bins of clothes just to sell and what ended up happening was I saw that there was a sale on skirts that's what I'm looking through right now is skirts they were all 50% off so I looked through all the skirts hoping to find some stuff to resell I found just one item for myself and I was like you know what I'm here my original plan was to drop off the bins and then drive to the kids consignment store which is probably like an 8 to 10 minute drive away I was gonna you know have them look through the stuff bring back the stuff that the kids consignment store didn't want Want, put it in my car and then go back to Play-Doh's once they were done looking through everything and just pick up you know uh, my my payout right like that's all I wanted but since I'd already looked through the skirts and I was like you know what they're probably almost done looking through my bins I'll just go ahead and look through the shoes and the jeans y'all the jeans were fire like they were so good but really quick what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you just some snapshots of some of the jeans that they had and the way that they had them priced just to show you how crazy it is. And the reason for it is because, you know, every Play-Doh's is going to price things differently. They're gonna price things according to their clientele. And a lot of the people in my town are wearing, you know, Miss Me jeans. They're really into rock revival and buckle and Cancun and all that kind of stuff. Or is it Can-Can? I always say Cancun. Can-Can. But the jeans that are worth some money are brands like Good American, Frame, Everlane. And because they don't really know about these brands, they are marking these brands so low. So of course I scooped them up. I'll do a little haul for you later. All right, so I just left Play-Doh's. They took 34 of my items for $76.36. I do still have what looks like two full bins of stuff that I'm bringing back home. But a lot of the stuff that they ended up taking was from a friend at church who gave me a bunch of stuff for free. They didn't really seem to take too much of the men's stuff from the men's. Well, actually, no, they did take, you know, a decent, like maybe a handful of things from the thread up box. I did also bring them a lot of like wintry type things. So I'm not surprised that probably a lot of those things are left in the bins and I'll just come back with those items. Um, you know, like maybe closer to the fall and hopefully they'll take those then. I do think that I'll get a little bit more from Play-Doh's than I would like from a garage sale just because I do plan on just throwing things in a box and um, letting people dig through them and, you know, basically selling things for a dollar per piece. I did also pick up some really great pieces. I was not planning on sourcing at all because I have so much stuff at home. But if you remember, I went to Play-Doh's not too long ago with a ton of stuff and I said that I was gonna do a series on just reinvesting that 
that money back into Play-Dohs and seeing how I could do with those items. And so I was kind of rifling through the skirts because they did have 50% off of all skirts. I found like one skirt for myself. I'll show it to you later in the haul. But then I just went through shoes and jeans. I found one pair of shoes for myself as well. But I also found so many amazing pairs of jeans, like so many. I was able to get some really great brands for not that much. I mean, I did definitely pay up then, you know, if I were at the thrift store or something, but I'm excited. So I will show you those things in a haul later on. Um, but yeah. Now I gotta stop by this kid's place. I really have to pee, but I'm gonna make it to the kid's place, maybe go to the bathroom there, see how much I've earned so far, and then go home. This place has a lot of clothes, and you know, that's kind of the main thing that they sell, but they also have a section of toys and games and puzzles and just a bunch of stuff that I know absolutely nothing about. So this is me attempting to look for stuff to purchase, to resell. I'm mainly looking for things that are sealed and still, you know, new. Um, I found like maybe two or three games. I looked up comps on eBay and they just weren't really worth anything. All right, so I'm out of the kids' consignment store. I didn't get anything. I typically don't anymore. I just, I don't really super duper enjoy like sourcing other kids clothes i you know get enough at home and so um i did drop off some stuff they took most of it and i have like 17 dollars of credit so the next time i come back with my kids i'll let them pick out like toys and stuff like that so i'm gonna go home now i haven't eaten lunch yet and it is two o'clock we do have like a weather advisory it's so sticky humid like it feels like i'm walking through like a swamp or something it's disgusting so there is um, some sort of weather advisory I think there's gonna be a pretty big storm coming through soon so I'm gonna get home hopefully I can photograph some stuff or have my husband photograph some stuff and I can list a bunch and just continue ooh, just continue clearing out all the stuff in our house because we have so much so much and I want to do a better job of prepping for some upcoming trips that we have so I want to get a lot photographed get a lot drafted so that I have stuff that I can just kind of like push out while we're on a uh, future trip. So that's what we have on the horizon. Um, try to figure out something really fun to do with the kids too. I don't know what that's gonna be yet. I actually kind of want them to go through the playroom and pull out stuff that they would like to sell for the garage sale, just so we can start clearing out some of that stuff too. So that's what we've going on. I'll see you guys later. All right, I'm gonna do a quick haul for you of all the stuff that I got at Play-Dohs. I got a few pieces for me and I got a ton of really great jeans. Yes. Go get your iPad. Do you want to watch it in my bed? Yeah. Okay, go. Let's go do it. We're going to set up Raya and the Last Dragon first so that someone is occupied. Okay, hold on. All right, so now that he is situated, kind of, he wants me to come and watch with him. But um, I didn't even really think that this is where this vlog was going to go. I thought I was just going to you know, kind of show you what I was doing today. But I think what I'm gonna do is I'll show you what I got from Play-Dohs and then my goal will be to list everything that I got to, you know, resell and get them all cross-listed onto the various platforms that I sell on and we'll see if anything sells. So that'll kind of be the end of the vlog is me showing you, is me showing you, you know, just kind of my listing process, my cross-listing process and, uh, just kind of the waiting game of does anything sell? So I'm gonna go ahead and show you what I got. I'm just gonna show you on my futon here. This is where I do my measurements for most things. This is the wall where I photograph. But I got this hat for myself. I just really thought the um, Patagonia embroidery on this was really cool. It's like $10. I don't really wear hats that often, but I think it's also just because I don't have a lot that I like. So I was excited about that. Um, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you know that I've been like obsessed with these um, Chloe Woody slides and these are kind of a dupe. Obviously they don't, you know, say Chloe across the strap. My husband was joking around. He was like, get a permanent marker and we'll just write Chloe. But um, I really like the style of these. They're just from Gap and they were $6, so, oh no, $7. So you can't beat that. And then I got this for myself. The original reason why I went to Play-Dohs obviously was because I wanted to trade and some stuff and see if they would buy anything from me but I also went because I got a text message saying that skirts were um, half off 
So I looked through their skirts. There wasn't really anything to resell, but then I saw this. They wanted seven for it, so I got it for $3.50. I did not try it on or anything. There's no brand, but I just got it for style. I'm trying to figure out how to show it to you. I just liked it because it was like ribbed. Obviously, it needs a good lint roll and perhaps even um, just a little sweater shaver action. But it's just like this ribbed midi skirt with this little, you know, line across the bottom. I thought that was really cute, and I thought it'd be really great for work. Just just like in the fall so excited about that for me okay but on to the jeans oh my gosh you guys so I got a ton of jeans and some brands that I've never found in the wild so this is a pair of I don't know how to how to say this I think it's a gold but I I don't know um this is a really great denim brand it retails for a ton you can usually resell you know these jeans for around at least $50 but a lot of times even more than that depending on the style these are size 26 I actually tried them on and I kind of want to keep them yeah I'm almost done but I'll be there soon okay they are in this kind of faded black there's a ton of stretch to them they are pretty much high-waisted the only weird thing is so they're kind of distressed but they have these big like kind of holes in the front isn't that weird like kind of like right at the bottom of your shin okay that's my daughter i don't know why she's making those noises um so i might honestly keep these but i think honestly what i'll do is i will look them up first and see if there are um i can't find the it's on the nightstand. I honestly have a lot of black jeans that are distressed just like this, but yeah, I don't know. If if like the comps for these are not amazing, then I'll just go ahead and keep them. For most of the jeans, I did um, check comps on these. I did not because they wanted $10. You guys, they had like silver jeans and like Rock and Republic jeans for like $35, $50. And some of these were just really priced super well. This is a pair of frame denim jeans in a size 25. Um, they're the Le Garçon style. They wanted 16 for these. I have sold these before for like anywhere between 40 to $60. So I am confident that they will sell at least north of 35. That's my goal. Like if at least north of, let's say like 35 to 40, if I can double my money on these, I'm good with that. Um, this is a pair of Madewell jeans, and honestly, I got these for myself because I did check comps. These are the 10-inch high-rise skinny, and believe it or not, they actually had like six to seven pairs of these at this Play-Dohs today. Um, they wanted $22 for all of them. These, they just wanted $18, and I don't know. Like, when I looked up comps, it just didn't seem like with a $22 price tag that I could make much of a profit but these i knew would probably fit me they are really long so i do have to just like cuff them but i am excited about these for myself another pair of frame jeans and these are basically new with tags i mean they don't have like the actual price tag but they have you know that little thing on it still these are the Les Skinny de Jeune, Je, I don't know. You guys, I don't speak French. Um, yeah, I took some language like dialect courses in college, but obviously they did me no good. French is like the hardest language for me, but um, they're size 26. And these they wanted, let's see, these they wanted 22 for, but because they are basically new, I know that I can probably sell them for north of 50. So I was okay with that. Um, really excited about those frame does pretty well for me you know I've sold some frame even like you know not with the tags or anything for like $65 so you just never know this is a pair of Everlane jeans I love Everlane they are a sustainable brand these are size 29 and I think it says ankle um, they wanted $10 dollars for these you guys and they're just a great like high waist to pair jeans sorry they're kind of slumping over there probably get at least 35 to 45 on those i would assume these are oh i was so excited about these good american i've never found these jeans before you guys i've never seen them in the wild i've never even touched them these are the good waist jeans in a size double zero or 24 so they're really small um let's see if there's any more information on the tag 
Yeah, so this is the brand that Khloe Kardashian started. They wanted 22 for these, which again, I was okay with because, uh, you know, these jeans can do really well. My goal is to get north of 60, 65 for these. And um, yeah, I don't know. These just really hold their value. They're definitely, oh, come on, stop sliding. They're high-waisted. They have some distressed detail on them, um, especially at the knees and at the hems. They're just, they're great. I'm so excited about these. We'll see how they do. This is a pair of pants from Anthropology, And, you know, sometimes obviously they have like their house brands. This is just Anthropology by Anthropology. Um, they do have that sometimes. These are in a size 27. They wanted $10 for these. And they're just kind of these like camo print. They're kind of cropped. They're kind of like a... Um, like a boot cut, but cropped, you know, pair of pants. Um, I know Madewell has been doing that style of jeans and um, yeah, it's kind of interesting. I feel like this cut would personally look horrible on someone like me because I am so short and my legs are so short. I, I don't know, but I think they're capable of looking cute on some people, just not me. Um, okay, I probably should have looked up comps on these. I just didn't because, again, they only wanted $10. This is Stella McCartney, and these were made in Italy. I think they're just like a mid-rise jean. I think they're, okay, I couldn't find the size in the jean, but these say size 2 to 26, so I just have to look a little bit harder. But they're like these really cool gray jeans, but they have kind of like this ombre effect with the color. Um, I don't know if I've ever found Stella McCartney before. I have found Stella McCartney for Adidas, which, you know, that can do really well. And I'll throw some comps, um, on the screen, but I was just really excited about those. And then one more pair of jeans from Anthro. These I thought were really cool. And if they were my size, I would have a hundred percent kept them, but this is Pill Girl and the Letter Press, which is a really great brand from Anthropology. They actually are doing a lot of like tops and blouses and stuff like that now. But these are the high rise trouser boot cut in a size 28. Um, they wanted $10 for these. You guys, literally any like Miss Me Silver, um, Can Can, any of those brands, uh, Rock Revival, those they wanted like at the minimum $25, $35. So I thought those were really cool. That is everything that I got. I spent, I don't remember exactly how much I got, you know, a bunch of credit from everything that I had brought in. I think I ended up spending around like $60. I'll put the amount here. And I also had $20 in coupons because I had $5 from the last time that I traded stuff in. And I had $5 from trading stuff in today. Plus I had a bunch of bonus rewards points and that gave me a $10 coupon. So I definitely saved a good amount, which brought down my cost of goods. I'll put that here too, what my actual cost of goods was on each item that I'm planning on reselling. But overall, a nice little haul. So we're going to get these photographed and listed and cross-listed and see if we can sell any of them today. So my husband and I took some pictures. We went to the library with the kids and I got to work sitting in front of these amazing windows at our library. And don't worry, very soon after this video was taken, it started Boring. One thing I wanted to show you really quickly is how I list using list perfectly. So the first thing I do actually is when I am taking pictures of my items, I will go ahead and start drafts for them in list perfectly. I'll just put what the item is, you know, which uh, bag I'm putting it in with the SKU. So I'll put, you know, the bag number um, in the SKU section. I will put my cost of goods and where it came from. So that's on the List Perfectly database and I do all that from my laptop. So it's already there and now what you're seeing is my phone. I'm able to access List Perfectly just using my browser, my internet browser. And since that information has already been put in my phone, now all I have to do is open up that listing and put my pictures in. So what I did before I opened up List Perfectly is I edited my pictures, and now that my pictures are edited, all I have to do is go into List Perfectly, find you know whatever item it is. So like right now, I'm doing these uh, Everlane jeans. I go to Choose File. The files are all on my phone. And so once I choose the file, all I have to do is is, um, you know, put the pictures in the listing. And then again, once I save it, I can go ahead and finish the listing later on my laptop because I prefer typing out all of 
the information for the listing from my laptop rather than from my phone. What I don't want to do is have to send all of the pictures from my phone to my laptop and so this allows me to really make it work however I want. There is no right or wrong way to do this but this is what works for me and I just thought I'd share that with you. So now that I've put all of the pictures into List Perfectly, I'm now on my laptop and I am bulk listing. So you just saw me select three listings that I wanted to bulk cross list which means that it will pull up those three listings on all of the different platforms that I selected and it's going to open up all those windows at the top so that they're all ready for me and it's a lot faster it helps you just get a lot more done in a shorter amount of time this is one of the things that you can do if you're on the business plan of list perfectly or the pro plan you don't get the bulk cross listing feature with the simple plan so I personally started off on the business plan and I now use the pro plan I do have a special promo code going on right now for those of you who maybe are not using list perfectly or would like to upgrade from one plan to another and the code is becky40 to save 40 percent off of your first month or to save 40 percent off of an upgrade from one plan to another and that promo ends on july 6th so if you're interested i will have that link for you down in the description below and again the code is becky40 but i'm not going to take you through you know how to cross list in this video just because i have done a ton of tutorial type videos in the past and i will put them in the cards here and I will link one down in the description as well but I will say that I really just cannot imagine being a reseller without a tool like List Perfectly in my arsenal. I wouldn't be able to be on as many platforms as I am without it and it really has proven to be worth every penny month after month. I was editing and I realized that I didn't have any way of ending the video so I will close by saying I did list and cross list all eight pairs of jeans that I purchased to resell. I have not had any takers yet, but this is what I've done. So I've listed them all and on my Instagram, I created a post about, you know, my haul today at Play-Doh's and I also in my stories put swipe up links for all of the jeans that I have for sale just so people can get them at my cheapest price because Shopify is where I put the lowest price for all of my items that I'm reselling and I offer free shipping on Shopify. And the reason why I do that is because Shopify has the smallest fees. Like I don't remember exactly what it is, but it's like basically nothing. You do have to pay, I think it's like a monthly, I don't even know guys. Like I'm not very well versed in all things Shopify, but I do wanna have like a place where I can send viewers and Instagram followers just kind of as a thank you for being a part of, you know, my journey where I can offer you, you know, the lowest price possible. So that's what I did. I just kind of directed people from Instagram over to my Shopify and we'll see if we get any hits that way. We may, we may not, you know, it's like the right person who, you know, wears that size has to see the post and, you know, we'll see what happens. I also put a post in my community tab here on YouTube. We are just trying all the things, okay? <laughs> yeah, it was just kind of a fun thing to do today, you know? I didn't really know that I was gonna go sourcing and then I didn't know that I was gonna be inspired to go ahead and list and cross list everything, but I hope you learned a little bit about perhaps some great denim brands that you should be on the lookout for. Maybe you learned a little bit about just kind of my listing process and just got a little glimpse into my life today. My goal is to maybe do like a video a day just until I get tired. I don't want to commit to anything because the second I do, you know, the next day I'm just not going to have the energy to do anything. But let's see. So this is going to post on Sunday. And on Monday, my goal is to at least do like a what's sold of just the stuff that I am shipping out, you know, that's going out on Monday. Um, and yeah, we'll just see what happens. I don't know. I know on Thursday I am doing a collaboration with Nicole uh, from Soul Inspired Seller because we both purchased 100 pound men's thread up rescue boxes, which you saw a little bit of in my living room earlier. And so I'm gonna have the first of two videos for that collaboration, just kind of going over that box and talking about everything that I got. So definitely if you're not subscribed yet and that kind of stuff is interesting to you, make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button and give me some thoughts in the comments of other content that you'd like to see, whether you enjoy this kind of vlog style video 
video or if you have any other topics in mind that you'd like for me to make videos on. So thank you guys so much for watching. You have no idea how much I appreciate you. I hope you're staying cool in this crazy warm weather and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!